Hey everyone, uh, today the topic of our video will be kind of the basics of palmistry palm reading. So uh, this can also be known as chiromancy. Um, and palm reading is basically a common form of an art that is practiced um, very, very, in various parts of the world. So in this video, we're basically going to create a basic understanding of this ancient uh, Indian mastery for you. So let's talk about how you determine the hand to be read, okay? So determining the hand to be read is normally one of the most basic skills that one is going to have to acquire in mastering this art. Uh, almost everybody is going to have two hands. So one hand is the active hand, while the other one is the passive hand. So the selection criteria will depend on the individual whose hand is going to be read. For instance, if the person is left-handed, then his active hand is his left hand, while his right hand becomes the passive hand. Vice versa will hold true for right-handed individuals. Usually, the active hand contains very specific inherited traits um, that can be used to determine one de one's destiny, okay? So, let's kind of talk about real quick understanding the structure of the hand, okay? So, another of the basic concepts that you need to understand in mastering the art of palm reading is the structure of the hand. Different hands will have different si um, sizes and shapes, and all of those factors can be used to interpret one's destiny. So let us now really quick understand how different hand features can carry different measures uh, and messages. So first of all, the shape. Now basically the shape of the hand is subdivided into four distinctive um, elements, water, air, earth, and fire. Now those categorized under the earth shape usually have short fingers, square shaped palms, deep and straight lines. People with air hands normally have really long fingers, um, square shaped palms, and very clearly articulated palm lines. And water hands are normally oval shaped with long fingers and a soft skin. And those with fire hands have shorter fingers, longer palms, and well-defined uh, clear skin. Okay, so people with earth hands are generally modest. Water hands represent sensitivity. Fire hands will represent um, confidence while uh, air hands are found in very sociable individuals. So secondly, you can look at the size of the hands. Uh, and this is basically another dimension of interpreting the structure of the hand is by looking at the size of the hand. And kind of just a basic note here is that people with small hands tend to be uh, a little bit more impulsive. So um, the last thing we'll talk about here today is thumb flexibility. So you can also learn a lot um, by observing the flexibility of the thumb. So a highly flexible thumb uh, will show you that you are very accommodating and adaptive, while a rigid thumb will show that one is pretty um, obstinate. Okay, so uh, I want to thank you for watching this video today. But before we go, I just want to let you know that there's a link below this video in the description uh, if you want to gather more information on how you can learn to read palms, whether you want to do it on yourself, um, just use it as a fun little thing to do to read other people's palms, or actually use it to become uh, a palm reader and start making money. So you'll find out more of the stuff that we talked about today, and also in the link below this video, uh, we'll give you some more information on how to identify some of the lines in palmistry and how you can actually read the lines um, on someone's palm or your own palm and kind of help determine uh, their future and some things about them. So thanks for watching. Make sure you click the link below this video, and have a great day.